Hello everyone, welcome to Edupedia World Videos. We are learning PowerPoint and my name is Neeru Verma. Topic for today's session is Applying Animations. And starting with the introduction. In PowerPoint, you can animate the text and objects such as clip art, shapes and pictures. An animation or movement on these slides can be used to draw the audience attention to a specific content or to make the slide easier to read. Animations can be used to make text or objects appear on the slide or exit a slide or emphasize the text or object that is already present on the slide. There are four types of animations and those are entrance. These controls how the object enters the slide. Then the second one we have is the emphasis. These animations occur while the object is on the slide and are often triggered by a mouse click or by pressing enter key. The next we have is the exit. These control how the object exit the slide. And the last one we have is the motion path. These are similar to emphasis effect except the object moves within the slide along a predetermined path like a circle or some arc. Moving forward with the course goal, we'll discuss about apply and animation to the object. We'll discuss about the effect options. Then we are going to learn about working with the animations, add multiple animation to the object, to copy animation with the animation painter, to record the animations, to preview the animations. Then we'll discuss about the animation pane, how to open the animation pane, to record effects from the animation pane, to preview effects from the animation pane and to change an effect start option. Then, addition to that, we'll discuss about the effect options dialog box. To open the effect options dialog box and to change the effect timing. So let's proceed and learn all these options one by one. The first we'll discuss about is apply an animation to the object. If you want to apply the animation to some object. Let me insert the object first of all. So you need to select the object first of all, then click on the animation tab. Click on the drop down here. You can see that none option is highlighted here because there is no animation applied to the object so far. We have certain options like entrance, you can see here. Then we have emphasis, then we have the exit option. So these are the kind of animations that you can apply on the object. Suppose you click on the fade. Yeah, you can see from here, like you click on the fade option and this is how the animation work. If you click on fly in, float in, then split, this is how the object appear when you run the slideshow. Also you can see that a number is written here. Once you apply the animation, it show you a small number written near to the object. This shows that it has an animation. Also in the slide pane, the slide will now show you a star symbol. It means that the animation is applied. Once you click on the star, it's going to play the animation. Now suppose this is your slide, you have a number here. You know that some animation is applied on this object and you want to check which animation is applied. What is the effect that has been added here? So the best option would be that you click on the star, the play animation icon here on the slide pane and it play the animation. Alright, so we have applied the animation here. Now, if we talk about the effect option, we have the second thing is effect options. 
some effects will have options you can change. For example, suppose if you select the fly in animation here, then you can also control the direction of the object that comes from. Currently, if we click on fly in, it's the object is coming from the bottom. You can click on the effect options here click on the drop down and you will get the multiple options here if you want the object to come from the left or from the top from top right from right from bottom right you have a lot of options available that the object would fly in but from which direction so this is what we call effect we have along with the animation we have given an effect additional effect also like we have given the direction in this case Yeah, this is how you have clicked on fl float in then again on the effect option float up or float down there are particular effect options associated with the animation we have clicked on the split now you can see you are getting four options associated with it split horizontal in horizontal out vertical in and vertical out Similarly, you can select the animation and you can select the associated effect options. Yeah. Before we proceed further, I would like to explain few more things about the animation. As we have seen here that the entrance, emphasis and exit options are available. Entrance means how the object enters onto the slide. So what are the effects? What are the animation you can apply? And exit means when the object is going to leave the slide, then what are the exit options you can provide? And emphasis means that the object is already there on the slide. It's fixed. Now you're adding some animation. It's not appearing. It's not coming. It's not exiting just like it's already there on the slide and we have still we want to focus on that object or on the task so that's why we have add some kind of animation for example if we talk about the emphasis option grow and shrink yeah you can see here play animation the object is already there on the slide click on the play animation and you can see that the object that is growing in the size now we have selected this option grow and change if you click on the effect option again the horizontal growth the vertical both tiny smaller larger huge so how much yeah you can see these are the options available the effect options available along with this so this is how we understand that these kind of animation how the object is getting entered onto the slide, how the object is going to leave the slide and the emphasis which is like the object is already there on the slide and we are trying to uh, gain some attention for that particular object. So what is the animation that can be applied in that case? All right. So that was it. That was about applying the animation to the object and the different kind of animations that can be applied to the object. The rest of the things we are going to discuss in the next section. Thanks everyone. Thank you for watching Ajupedia World videos.